Reserpine is an indol alkaloid. This means a natural molecule that contains basic nitrogens. It comes from the Indian snake root and has antipsychotic and antihypertensive properties. For the purpose of this discussion, we will focus upon this amine carbon's hydrogen. Robert Burns Woodward carried out its synthesis in 1956. It was prepared in a sequence of 19 reactions. We call them steps. This is a key molecule in the sequence. Here is a simplified version of this molecule. The goal was to create a cyclic amine with the appropriate spatial location of the hydrogen, otherwise known as stereochemistry, coming out of the screen. The precursor to the cyclic amine that leads to reserpine is the cyclic iminium ion that's prepared with a Bishner-Nampirialski reaction. The amide's nitrogen's lone pair forms a pi bond with the carbon, whilst the carbonyl pi bond attacks the phosphorus of the phosphoryl chloride, ultimately generating an oxygen anion. The trigonal bipyramidal intermediate releases a chloride anion that then attacks the aminium ion's carbon, and its pi bond is broken to neutralize the nitrogen cation. The lone pair of the nitrogen reforms the iminium ion, and the dichlorophosphate is a good leaving group. Now we turn to the pyrrole portion of the molecule. The lone pair on the nitrogen acts as a nucleophile through the carbon adjacent to the pyrrole's nitrogen to attack the iminium ion's carbon, and then the pi bond breaks, making the nitrogen neutral. A chloride ion through deprotonation restores the pyrrole's aromaticity. The lone pair on the nitrogen creates a pi bond with the reformation of the iminium ion and the loss of a chloride leaving group. The cyclic iminium is reduced with sodium borohydride. This supplies the hydride or hydrogen anion that's the nucleophile that attacks the iminium carbon. Then the aminium's pi bond is broken to give an amine. Critically, the hydride approaches from the top face as depicted here, as the bottom face attack would have to go through a twist boat intermediate. This top face approach unfortunately leads to the wrong molecule, not the desired reserpine, but epireserpine. What does epi mean? It stands for epimer. Epimers are stereoisomers that vary by just one stereogenic center. Ultimately, this error is corrected in the synthesis and reserpine is made.